What is up, my RPG Maker people? Today, we're going to be making a uh, quest, a uh, collection quest. So you're going to collect some items for somebody, and when you have enough items, then you're going to give them to him. It's going to take him out of your inventory. Uh, so, yeah, if you don't have enough items, he's going to say you don't have enough. So we're going to make that right now. We have an NPC here. And first thing you do is you make the NPC. I named him NPC. You gave him an image. Then his type for movement for mine is fixed. He's not going to go anywhere. And then the priority is same as character, so I can't walk through him. And the trigger is the action button. So when I click on him, this fires off. So the top content is a text. It says, hello, I ran out of herb for my potion. Can you help me get more? Get three more. And the text. I didn't... It's just a face I put there for him. I just found the face for the character. And I said, hello, I ran out of herbs for my potion. Can you help me get three more? Okay. Then I had choices. Show choices, yes or no. When you say yes, another text is going to appear. Great. Come back when you have three. When you say no, nothing's going to happen. And also, after he says when, great, come back when you have three, control self-switch A turns on. So that's over here. Self-switch A is on. Now we're doing if statements for variables and a variable sounds a little scary but it's nothing to worry about uh, i said if amount of herbs equals zero then he will say you need three more herbs so let's check on that variable so all the variable is is this right here you go you find an empty one and you just call it a name i i named mine amount of herbs and that's all i did that's the variable so I put amount of herbs is equal to zero under a conditional branch, selecting variable instead of switch, and creating an else branch. So if the amount of herbs is equal to zero, you still need three herbs. If the amount of herbs in your inventory is equal to one, you still need two herbs. If it's equal to two, you still need one herbs, and if you have more than, more than or equal to three, then he says, great, I can make my potion, take this for your troubles, he gives you gold. So you see this right here, this is actually minusing three to the amount of herbs in your inventory. Because over here, I have the herb made. Plus one herb, change items to plus one herb. Now the control variable, right here, amount of herbs is what I want to change. And I put add one. So when you pick up this herb, it gives you the item of the herb in your inventory. And it also tells that that variable, the amount of herbs variable, hey, we just got we just got one herb. So now you've done this, control self switch A has gone on. And like I said, after you have enough herbs or more than enough herbs. It is going to minus three from your inventory after you give him three. Or however many you want to give him. Uh, that number just depends on you. And even if like he needed five of an item. Then you could minus five of the item from the, that amount of items. So then you turn control self switch B on if you have greater two or equal than greater than or equal to three. All right, so after control self switch B goes on, he's not gonna do anything else. Now, let me show you what this is gonna look like. All right, we are in game. We're gonna talk to him. Hello, I ran out of herbs for my potion. Can you help me get three more? If I say no, it ends. That's, that's what we have, as no is cancel. Hello, I ran out of herbs for my potion. Can you help me get three more? Yes, great. Come back when you have three. All right, I'm going to talk to him again. You still need three herbs because it's checking that variable and it's saying if your uh, amount of herbs variable is equal to zero, which it is since we haven't picked up an herb and had that plus one to our variable yet. If it's equal to zero, he's going to tell you you still need three. So let's pick one up plus one herb. Now it added that herb we just picked up 
to our variable because we have the control variable amount of herbs plus one. So he says you still need two herbs because we have one herb now. Pick up another plus one herb. You still need one herb. Okay. There we go. Now we have three herbs. Great. I can make my potion. Take this for your trouble. Plus 50 gold. And now it took the herbs from our inventory. See, I have it. It took the variable of herbs from our inventory, but I still have to make it take the actual item. The item of herb and the variable of herb are two different things. The variable is just uh, words I wrote down, and they store numbers. So now I have to go back here into the NPC to two, all the way down here. See, it says minus three herbs from the variable amount of herbs, but we also have to, have to take the herbs out of the inventory. So then to do that, we would go to party, change items, herb, decrease by three. Okay. And that's all we do. Let's go over this one more time. First thing you do is you make an NPC, give him a thing, an image. You can have him walk around if you want. It doesn't matter. He's same as character, action button. All right, so you make a text with the, with the guy's face, and you say, hello, blah, 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 whatever you want for your quest to be. But mine is, hello, I ran out of herbs for my potion. Can you help me get three more? Show choices to accept the quest or to not accept the quest. So I have yes. Or no. When you say yes, under this section right here, it's going to show another text. Great. Come back when you have three. Control self switch A on. That's going to flip it to this page. Self switch A is on. Same things going on in this box as the last box. Now, right here, we have a bunch of if, 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 if for the variable. So when you make a control branch for a variable, this is what you do. You go down here to flow control, conditional branch. It's automatically on switch. You can change it to variable. I have mine, amount of herbs. And like I said, you just go and type in like that. That's making a variable. It's there now. The words, what it's called really doesn't matter. It's for you to know what it is. What matters is the number of the variable. But you're selecting the variable here, so it doesn't matter. Now the control conditional branch, you have the variable chosen. Amount of herbs equal, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, greater than, less than. Forget what that is. Forget what that is. I can't remember. But anyways, it's asking if the amount of herbs variable is equal to zero create this branch, then you make it, if amount of herbs is equal to zero, like this one is, he's going to say you still need three herbs, because that's the truth. You don't have any herbs, you're still going to need three. And then you go down. If amount of herbs is equal to one, you still need two herbs. Amount of herbs is equal to two, you still need one herb. If the amount of herbs is greater than or equal to three, Great, I can make my potion. Take this for your troubles. Plus 50 gold. I had to change gold. It added 50 gold. And then I used the control variable amount of herbs to minus 3 from that variable. And I also minus 3 from the actual item herb. Control self switch B goes on. And it just flips to a page where he says nothing. Now you can keep it going as long as you want. But that's just what I have laid out for the tutorial. And again... When you pick up an item, remember not to forget when you're making your item, you show plus one herb or whatever your item is, you give them the actual item in their inventory, then you have to go to control variables and plus one to that variable. All right. And then this control self switch A is for my last tutorial where I put a respawning resource. All that is is. Control self switch A on, wait, wait. Control self switch A turns off and it just sends it back to this page automatically and it starts over. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. 
Uh, gonna keep pumping out as many as I can. I love RPG Maker. I have a really good time with these videos. I, I love sharing this information with you guys and helping you out. Uh, if you learned anything, hit the subscribe button, leave me a like so other people get to see this video as well. Other than that, Trick Ghoul, out.